Hey everybody, so I'm going to try something here. I'm going to do some quick love messages. I will timestamp it below. If you want, you can watch me pull the cards so that you can kind of get a feel for the energy behind each deck, and then you'll choose a pile. Um, if you want, you can just skip ahead to when I have all three of the, the sets out, and then you can just look at them, just kind of get into an intuitive space, feel the energy, and then um, you want to pause the video maybe and, and choose a set of cards. So pile one. Pile one, just quick messages from your person messages from your person okay I'll timestamp each set too let's go pile one pile two for those that are drawn to pile two what is the message from your person that you need to know right now So here's the point where you might want to pause and take a minute to look at each pile, see what calls to you. Just kind of get into an intuitive space, just feel the energy behind each set of cards. Okay, pile one. I'm afraid that you'll never forgive me. I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating somebody else. So this is somebody who really messed up with you. Could be an ex, could be a karmic partner even. Just somebody who's, they just kind of know that they did you wrong. Um, that they're not sure. They're just kind of awkward. They're not sure what to say. They feel jealous. They're afraid. They know that they don't, they know that you deserve more than what they've put you through. And so they're afraid that you're already talking to somebody or that you're going to end up talking to somebody else. I daydreamed about what it might be like to be married to you. So they have fantasized about, fantasized about the long term, but it might have scared them. They might not have just been ready for that. You know, we have, I can't figure out who I am or what I want. Yeah, it's somebody who's, could be an ex. I kind of sense a karmic energy, like a soulmate. Maybe, maybe, I don't want to, I don't know if it's a karmic. It could be a karmic that you need closure with. Could just be, could be a soulmate too. Um, I just get the energy of someone who just did you wrong, who just, they ghosted you or they didn't commit. They, just a very lost soul, you know, it says I can't figure out who I am or what I want. Somebody who just, they don't really know themselves. They don't really know how to love. They don't know how to be loved. They don't know who they are. They don't know what they want in life. Just somebody who's very lost. And I think you kind of started looking at this connection differently and thinking, you know, I don't know if I want this anymore. I want somebody on my level. I want a king or a queen. I don't want this child here who can't commit, who, who runs away every time we get close. I don't want somebody who's constantly afraid of how they feel for me. Um, I don't want someone who just doesn't know who they are. You know, I want someone who knows who they are. I want someone who knows that they want me for sure. Not somebody who's constantly like afraid of the way they feel. You know, I kind of think that's, that's your energy towards them is like, you know, kind of like just kind of fed up, kind of starting to look at them differently, starting to be turned off by the way they've treated you. Um, and they might come back around, but you know, you might want closure with them. They might come back around, but you might just want to end it. You might just want to get that closure and move on to somebody who's, more capable of loving you and giving you what you want. I'm going to reach out. I'm just searching for the right words to say. So yeah, again, this is somebody who did you wrong and they know it. They know that they messed up with you. They kind of just want to have their cake and eat it too because it's like they feel that you're moving on and that you're talking to new people and now they're wanting to pull you back in. But once they have you, they go right back to being scared and not wanting to commit and just wanting to have their freedom, you know? So it's not a great energy I feel from this person. 
And I think if this is your story, I think you know who this is. You know what I mean? I think this is an ex that you're already kind of getting over. You're already kind of ending this karmic cycle with them and opening yourself up to um, to your true love, you know, because you don't want this energy anymore. They kind of taught you what you don't want. Yeah, you have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. So I think, like I said, I think this person is, is an ex from your past, and I feel like you're just kind of getting over them. Like you're kind of just over how they ghosted you, how they ran, how they could never commit, how they... I get this sense of somebody who's like a liar, somebody who's just like just scared of everything, just really like, just ugh, it's just not good energy. You could do a lot better than that. And I think you're realizing that now. You're, you're getting into your power. You're realizing that you have multiple potential partners. You're realizing you could do better than this person. You know, your energy is magnetic. So I think you're ending this karmic cycle with this person and manifesting somebody who's actually on your level, you know, manifesting your true love now. At this time, it's best to wait for me to reach out. I have a bad habit of taking you for granted. So yeah, this is somebody who just wants to have their cake and eat it too. And if this is your story, I think you know who this person is already. I think you're already kind of just it, like just done with it. Um, like you know it's just a game with them. You know it's just chase or chasey. You know the minute they have you, they're going to go back to running and so you're just kind of tired of it. You want somebody who's going to be solid and consistent, you know? You want somebody who's not going to take you for granted and only realize what they have when they lost it. Um, I mean, I think this person will reach out, but I think by the time they do, they're, they've already lost you. I think they're already losing you, and they're going to lose you more and more day by day. So I think by the time they reach out, you're not even going to want it anymore. I look at your pictures often. Yeah, they kind of fantasize about you. They think about you, but they know they're not good enough for you. They know that you're above them. They know that your energy is too much for them. They know that you're a queen or a king and that they're just, they're on a lower level. They know that they can't rise up and meet you where you're at. They know they can't give you what you what you want. So they just kind of fantasize and look at your pictures, um, but they're afraid to, to follow through with anything. You're my best friend, so maybe you have like a goofy kind of connection, like a sweet connection, you know. They do see you as someone they trust, but again, they just, they know that they're not going to be able to be good enough for you. Okay, let's see what we got number two. I communicate with you through songs and movies, so very strong telepathic connection here. Um, yeah, might be giving you messages through movie clips, um, you know, char what characters say and do in movies or their, their wor the wording, maybe a certain quote that stands out to you, songs that come through that remind you of them or songs that just kind of like you resonate with those lyrics. They might be telepathically communicating with you a lot. I, regl I regret letting you go. I never should have left. So yeah, a lot of regret again here for, for letting you go. You come off as uninterested and detached. Hmm. Maybe you're just holding space for them, but they don't even realize it. I love you. I've grown up and I'm ready for a commitment. Yeah, so this is somebody who kind of messed up and hurt you in the past. I don't feel like this would be like a bad person, though. I feel like this would be somebody who just... Maybe like the circumstances, like maybe like different locations or like the circumstances just didn't allow for you guys to be together at the time. Or maybe... Maybe this is someone that you guys broke up, but, like, they realized they should have fought harder for you. Like, they shouldn't have just gone their separate ways. Or somebody who kind of, like, left and had to do their own thing and had to heal for a while. But they've done the healing and they're wanting to, they've grown up a lot and they're wanting to come back and commit and give you what you deserve. Um, I'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. And I want some clarity and certainty before I reach out. So, yeah, I think that maybe this is somebody who you know is going to come back around sooner or later and I think that you're kind of just holding space for them and I think they are wanting to reach out but I think that they're you're holding space for them but I think that they're kind of worrying that you've already moved on from them or that you're talking to somebody else they're just kind of scared that you're uninterested that you've detached from them maybe a long time has gone by since you guys talked so they're wanting a clear opening. They, they don't know how you feel at this point. They don't know if you would be willing to open that chapter of your life back up and start again with them and see how it goes. Um, it's hard. I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. So yeah, there is. I'm going to pull a couple more clarifier cards on these. 
yeah, they, they are wanting this new start with you. I think they're just afraid. They're just unsure of how you feel. They're unsure if you'd give them a second chance. I often think about the last night we saw each other. So this could be for somebody that you dated. Like if you guys broke up, they're kind of thinking like, I should have fought for him or I should have fought for her. I shouldn't have just let this slide by, you know. I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. Um, and I, I'm aware that you're my soulmate or my twin flame. You're the one. So, so yeah, they, they are... They're scared that you don't feel the same way. They're scared that they're going to get hurt. They're scared that they're not going to have this, this second chance, this new start with you. But they are kind of waiting and hoping that you'll give them some kind of green flag um, to let them know that, it's, that you do want this new start, that you will give them a second chance. It's probably somebody that you maybe have gone a while without talking to or maybe somebody you casually talk to here and there but you haven't really talked about your feelings or your emotions or the past, and so they're just not sure where they stand with you, but they are wanting that new start from what the cards are saying. Third reading is this situation involves children or obligations or childish kind of energy. I'm thinking about what you said. Hmm. I'm looking at these cards together here. I might be confused. Maybe you said, did you, did they say something childish or maybe one of you said something regarding children, something, there's something you said that they're really, that's stuck in their mind. I need you to help me understand. I thought I could find clarity alone, but I can't. I need some answers. So this is somebody who I think feels a really strong connection with you and they probably haven't experienced that kind of connection with you before. And so it almost like confuses them. Like they're just not sure what to make of the connection and so they're kind of looking for answers like what is you know like they just they don't understand why they feel so strongly for for you and they they almost like they want your help figuring it out like they want your help understanding this kind of connection this could also be if they're in a situation like with the karmic or like they're trying to get childs like um, like child support or trying to get custody of their kids or some kind of situation that you're trapped in that they're trapped in and you're trying to give them advice for whatever this toxic situation is trying to get them away from a childish person or get custody of their children something of that sort they're thinking about whatever you said that's a second potential story here they're thinking about what you said and they're wanting your help they're wanting your guidance they 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 need answers. They're they're really they're really taking. They really see you as somebody who's wise, knowledgeable. They're really thinking a lot about what you said, and they're they're wanting to um. They're wanting this this um. They're wanting your help out of a, a certain situation. They're wanting guidance and help, and almost like a mentor in a way. Um, and that this, but that's for some of you, for others, it's just, you said something and it just kind of, maybe they've been childish, but you said something that kind of whipped them into shape. Maybe you were assertive with them. Maybe you communicated in a really assertive way and they realize that they've been childish and you're kind of making them think and they're realizing that they're not, maybe their pride made them think that they were okay without you, but they're realizing they do need you, that you are wise, you are knowledgeable, they do care about what you have to say. They want answers regarding this connection. They want to understand and they need your help to do so. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. So yeah, again, somebody who kind of just doesn't fully understand the nature of this connection. It's like you guys got so close so quick. And it's somebody who's kind of like a submissive type almost. Like they, they need guidance in their life. I want to ask you out, but I'm afraid you'll, that you'll say no. That would be awkward. Yeah, it's again, it's somebody who is almost like you have to be the sort of dominant one because they don't know how to be. <laughs> There's someone new coming into your life. So yeah, they either this person coming back or you might have just somebody new that you you might have be, be choosing between two people in the near future. I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted and I'm damaged and I don't know how to open my heart again. So I think this is for some of you, you're in like a karmic situation and they've been kind of trapped and stagnant in this, this karmic situation or trying to get custody of their kids or just could be even finances, um, just negative people around them. And it's like, you're trying to support them. You're trying to help them through this energy. You're trying to help them heal. You're trying to get them on a better path to their life. You're trying to get them to be more assertive and take control of their life. And they're damaged and they're afraid of opening their heart. Um, and they feel like they're trapped and they're just needing guidance and support and love. And you keep giving them that. But at the same time, I think you're probably tired of having to 
always be the dominant one here, always be the assertive one because they're so afraid of life and they're so there's just so lost, you know, and so you might have somebody new coming in and you might end up just deciding that you don't want to be with somebody who's so submissive and that you'd prefer to be with somebody who's able to take charge and be dominant and assertive like you are. So, so yeah, I hope this resonates. Um, if it does, go ahead and subscribe to me. And also, if you want a private reading, my information is below. Thank you.